Hey there everyone, and welcome back to Alexandria Castle! I talked to this Moogle. I mean, I know I talked to him, but... Okay, no more Mognet stuff from him. So, yes, um... It's time for Steiner to go and round up all the Knights of Pluto. You don't actually have to do that, but I guess you could say it's one of this game's many little side quests. I thought, wait, give me one second. Like, I just had to check something. I had to make sure my recording stuff was set properly. Now, if you impress all 100 nobles and impress Queen Bronze, she will give you a Moonstone. As a reward. But you have to come up here and talk to her to get it. Also, if you don't... Um, if you don't impress her enough to get the Moonstone, I think she gives you a silk shirt or something. It's a light armor, if that wasn't obvious. By the way, I want to apologize for the, uh, slowdown in videos lately. I think part of it was because I was getting a little bit burned out on, um, you know, recording and, like, doing... Not really just not really recording, but I think I've been getting kind of burned out on doing so much audio editing, you know, for every single video like I have to do. This guy's a little tricky to talk to. I'm actually... I'm not entirely certain if you have to talk to him. Like, I want to make stuff for you guys, but it takes a lot of time, you know, to edit these videos, because it's like, I have to listen through the whole entire audio track and, you know, turn down my voice if it, you know, peaks painfully at any point, and I also have to lower the game volume every time I speak. So, you know, ed editing an audio track can take quite a while. Depends on the game, and it also depends on how much I talk in the recording and all that. I've been doing it for a long time, though, and I guess, I don't know, I guess lately I felt like I was getting a little burned out, but there was actually more reason for that. that that's, that's a minor reason, if anything, because even if I am feeling burned out on it, I'm going to keep doing it because I want to keep making content for you guys, you know? I don't want to stop making videos, because I love making LP videos for you guys. Like, it takes a lot of time and dedication to make them, and, you know do all the editing that needs to be done. The video editing usually don't take doesn't take long at all. It's just the audio editing more than anything, which is all done in audacity by the way. But the real reason that the videos have slowed down for the past week or so is because uh, I've been playing a lot of Trails of Cold Steel and also a lot of uh, Descent Free Space mods. Specifically mods for Free Space Open, which is a... It's an open source engine that lets you run Free Space 2 on, uh... You know, on modern PCs and stuff, because the game has a lot of trouble running on there. And, you know, on newer PCs or newer graphics cards, to be specific. And that's what Free Space Open is for. And no, Free Space Open is not the game itself. It's not pirating. You actually need, like, an actual copy of Free Space 2 to be able to run it. It's just an engine that allows... It, like, it runs off the game itself, basically. It just allows it to run on modern PCs and adds modding capabilities. So you have, like, a whole bunch of custom campaigns you can play. And I've been playing a ton of those lately. So yeah, it's like, lately I've been spending a lot more time doing that instead of, you know, dedicating time to audio editing, but I really want to get back to it now. <laughs> By the way, I know that I could make this all go a lot faster. Um, by just doing the audio, you know, the way that I did with ukulele for the most part. That, that was to, like, avoid the copyright issues, but it's like, you know, when I recorded that game, I, I record... 
Ah, uh, sorry, man, you can't leave. Actually, it doesn't really matter which one of those you choose. But yeah, it's like when I, you know, it's like when I recorded ukulele, that was probably the easiest audio editing I've done in years because I barely had to even do any editing at all because, you know, the whole game was already at a very low volume. It had to be to avoid, you know, getting picked up by the, you know, the content ID system and, you know, blocking my videos in multiple countries. Also, I'm yammering on and not really thinking about what I'm doing. Wait, wait a minute. No, there, there's no more Knights of Pluto here. Okay. But yeah, um, basically, it's like, you know, for that game, well, uh, I suck at explaining. But yeah, it's like for that game, um, uh, why can't I bring the words to my mouth? It's like, you know, for that game, I, uh, you know, I, I just kept the volume really low throughout the whole thing, so I didn't really have to do any editing where I had to, like, lower the game volume every time I talk, you know, when messing with the tracks in Audacity. So I was able to basically just... You know, I could go through it really quickly, make sure my voice wasn't too high. Oh, by the way, on that note, my, my voice volume's fine, right? I mean, I've had people say it is. Like, I don't know, like... My, my voice sounds kind of loud in headphones, like it sounds normal otherwise, but in headphones my voice sounds really loud in recordings. But then again, that's listening to it at full volume, and I know you should never listen to things at full volume in headphones. I just, I always think, like, should I make my voice quieter? Because, I don't know, it's like I always think, like, I'm afraid I'm hurting people's ears, but then again, it's also... A person's choice to, you know, listen to something at a super high volume or not. It's not painfully loud at, like, you know, lower volume. So I guess it's okay. I mean, no one's ever complained about it, so I try not to think about it. But I just worry about things like that, you know? Because <laughs> I'd be... i feel really bad if I was, like, giving people ear damage or something. But anyway, yeah, like, I know that I could very easily just, um, you know, record all my games at a lower volume. Like, you know, like, basically almost all Let's Players do. Like, most people just record the game at a constant volume, and they just, you know, talk over it. Like, they make sure the game's lower than their voice, and they just go with it like that. And that would make it really, really, really easy for me to do. I could make videos so quickly if I did it that way. And it's like, I know a lot of people probably wouldn't mind if I did it that way, but I just I just feel bad doing it that way because then I feel lazy. Like, I'm, I'm not saying that other... Like, like I'm not saying other LPers... Um, like, I'm not saying other LPers are lazy for doing it that way. It's just that, you know, I've always... Well, not really always, but for like the past two years at least... I think I've always done it this way. Like, I've put so much effort. And the whole reason I do it that way to begin with is because I don't want the game to be too quiet for people. Like, when I do Let's Plays, I want people to get the experience of the game, you know? That's why I like to have the volume a bit louder than other LBers. Like, I like to have my game volume at around, you know, I guess, walkthrough level. Like,. You know, when you're watching, like, a non-commentated, you know, playthrough or walkthrough or something, I try to have the game volume at around that level so people can, like, you know, enjoy hearing the game really well. And so, you know, I just, like, turn down the game whenever I talk so the game doesn't overpower my voice. Um, if you find all the Knights of Pluto and give all the orders to them and then talk to this one twice, um, he'll give you an elixir. That's like the ultimate reward. But yeah, it's like, I know, like, uh, like I, I should know that you guys wouldn't really... He says, was there an extra one? But there isn't, though. Because there's eight Knights of Pluto. 
See, he's one. That's t that, that's two more. So that would be three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, good. It's like, I don't know. It's like, I, I just feel like I would be lazy. Like, I, I feel like, you know, if I was to just start doing audio like that, it, it would basically be taking the easy way out, and then I feel like I would be a disappointment to everyone, because I'm taking, like, the easier way out of, you know, doing audio for my videos, and I would feel really guilty and bad about that, so that's, like, probably one of the main reasons that I keep doing it the way I'm doing it right now. But anyway, enough yammering on. Let's get on with the game. I was, I was stalling, oh, Right, I had to run up a little bit more. I was stalling here because we're about to get to a cutscene. You know, I don't talk over cutscenes. <laughs> anyway, I think my explanations are done, so yeah. Oh, well, there she is. But it's like, if I was going to be completely honest, I would actually love to do it, you know, the typical way of just keeping the whole game really low and basically doing it like I did with ukulele, you know, for the majority of that recording, but I choose not to. Anyway, let's get on with this. a bit of bad luck for Steiner there. I ah, see the princess likes to play hard to get. Well, I guess another reason is because I don't like inconsistency. Also, wait a sec. I don't know if that was picked up. I had to bring up my bandy cam to see the recording time. And, you know, another reason is inconsistency. Like, I've been doing it this way for a long time, so I feel like it would just, like, throw people off, you know, if I started doing it another way for all of my LPs and stuff. Oh, by the way, um, I, I need to mention something else. Um, at the start of battles, um, you're, you're going to hear the audio cut a little bit. Um, I noticed it did that, you know, in the first battle. You know, in, like, the first video. And the reason for that is because I'm using Bandicam's game recording mode, which directly captures the game window, but... Like, for some games, when it's loading, or, you know, like, loading into something, it causes it to freeze for a few seconds, like... You know, it skips over that part for whatever reason, so it might skip a second or two at the start of every battle. 
I really hate that it does that, because it, like, messes up the music, you know, because you're going to hear a skip in the music, but there's nothing I can do about it. I could use, you know, the screen recording mode, but that, that gives lower quality than the game capture mode that directly captures the window, so... You know, that's why I use this mode. Although it doesn't work for all games, though. Like, I want to be the guy stuff, you know, that generally uses... It doesn't let you use game capture mode. I'm guessing it just doesn't work with game maker things. <laughs> yeah, this whole time the princess actually wanted to be kidnapped. I don't think she's here, Steiner. Oh, would you look at that? I think we should get out of here. I think we have a traitor. Either that, or it's a fake Pluto Knight. Who knows? Well, before we move on... Let's fiddle with the engine! You might have noticed that caused a treasure chest to fall. You can cause two different chests to fall. You know, by turning the wheel both ways. Let's not destroy the ship by accident now. It's time to stop fiddling with the engine and go down here and get these chests. Got a Phoenix Down from that one. Phoenix Downs are the revival item in Final Fantasy games. And we got a Phoenix Pinion. Now, I won't say what the Phoenix Pinions are for... They, I, I will say, they function like Phoenix Downs, but, you know, I won't say what they're for, but I will say, yeah, I, I will say that you should hold on to your Phoenix Pinions, though. Don't waste them. So it is a fake Pluto Knight. <laughs> and 
And so we finally get another battle. And yes, as you can see, it's actually blank. <laughs> Because remember, both uh, Steiner and, uh, not Steiner, but both, um, you know, both uh, Zidane and Blank, they, they dressed up as Pluto Knights when they got into the castle. Also, nah, you know what? Uh, forget it. <laughs> And Steiner has Oglop Phobia. Apparently they all do. Have been like. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, wouldn't that have been like number one or number three? Because it looked like there were three lifts and he got on like the far right one, but I guess there was one more that you couldn't see because there's four. You know, there's like four lifts here. Two of them look like they're out of commission.
Uh-oh, run away! <laughs> Sir, rust a lot. Well, here we go again. I see why I didn't bother reviving Cinna. Steiner, your knights are absolutely pathetic. Ah oh, yes, I suppose I should uh, take this time to mention, um, Garnet is a white mage, so she has curative magic. She also has summons, apparently. She... That's odd. Oh yeah, since we're on the stage, um, Zidane is unable to use steel. Now, Vivi is actually a black mage, so he can use attack magic like fire. Alright, isn't this just the most amazing sound effect you've ever heard? See, this is one of those sound effects they changed from the PS1 version. I don't know why it sounds so awful in this version, but... Anyway, let's just get the heck out of here. For those of you confused, the, the play is officially over at this point. <laughs> and yes, that is a bomb. That is a classic enemy from past Final Fantasy games. They grow bigger. As their name implies, they explode eventually. Basically, they just grow and grow, and then they just blow up. You can't target the bomb, though. You can only target Steiner. Of course he's not going to believe us.
Oh yeah, I'm doing too much damage to him. <laughs> it's like skipping over his text. At least I think it was. I think he's supposed to say that, and then Garnet says, Please, Steiner, behind you, and then he says something else. I'm actually, I'm not sure if this um, is a time-based battle, or if you have to actually attack him and cause damage. But I always attack anyway. That's big. Doubt anyone survived that explosion. Yeah, after that massive explosion, you would think nothing would even remain of the ship, but... Somehow it's still... mostly in one piece.
So this is an interesting little system. What it essentially boils down to is it's a cutscene viewer in a way. Like, the, the, the majority of active time events are optional, but if you watch them, you get, like, little insights to the story and characters and stuff. Anyway. That's it for this episode, so see you next time, everyone.